Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is a month like this where there is going to be a major shift taking place for a lot of us out there. A rare alignment between Neptune and Mars, which only happens about once every two years. Well, it represents a moment of high energy, high emotions and changing tides in at least one area of life. Now for you, this particular energy is going to be taking place under the light of a full moon. That full moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with siblings, cousins and neighbors. It has to do with you being in the right place at the right time, connecting with the right person and it making all the difference. That's synchronicity right there. Now what's also covered here are documents and communications of all kinds, contracts, negotiations as well. So all of these endeavors, kind of touchy, kind of sensitive and particularly emotional at this time. So if it is that this energy plays out more in alignment with one of the types of people I mentioned, siblings, cousins, or neighbors, well, it could be that it feels as if uh, one of these people is making decisions or acting in a certain way, and it may have to do with you directly or not, but it seems like you are feeling very caught up in a moment. The other layer of this understanding, of course, is communication. Right about this time, under the light of this full moon, which happens right around the 14th. Now, of course, you want to give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. You want to add even more energy to this as well, considering what a sensitive time and powerful energy this is. So you want to add more energy on either side. But for all that, just know that people may be particularly sensitive to your words now, and you may be sensitive to others as well, and have uh, unintentioned reactions, particularly strong reactions to what it is that is shared. So use the power of communication wisely at this time. If it is that you need to send a letter, if you need to communicate in some way, uh, you may find yourself, and this is relative to you and your sign, not everybody's going to feel this way, but you may feel a little bit like you've stepped into a wonky Mercury retrograde where uh, things were understood in a way that you hadn't intended. Now, it can also go another way as well in that a communication that you have with another person is intentionally leaving out some very important details or you may be overlooking some very important details as well. So I would say if there are important negotiations or even contracts to be had, if you can give some space around this full moon, give it a few days, uh, you'll probably be that much more glad for it. The same conversation, the same document, the same communication might look very different once we navigate forward from this full moon. And it's not that much forward at that. We are looking at right around the 18th of the month. That is when we are going to have Saturn direct. Since spring and summer, well, that's been the period of time that Saturn has been retrograde. Now with your ruling planet going direct in your sign, something within you is going to feel as if it is going direct, as if it is gaining momentum, it is moving forward. A matter near and dear to your heart in terms of what truly matters to you and whom it is you know yourself to be, well, it's like in an instant, you start to feel more grounded, more certain, more sure, and more secure within your own spirit. And you start to feel as if your life is gaining momentum at the same time. Now, yes, this energy is gonna be especially strong in the days surrounding the 18th. However, you're gonna feel this invite, okay? It's almost like the universe is gonna say, I know that there's a lot here you could get caught up in, but there's something within you that is stable and strong. And it's gonna invite you to tap into that power, but you have to do it with intention. Saturn and Pluto both will be speaking in harmony with that full moon. And so it could be as all of this uncertainty is whirling around in conversation and communication uh, with cousins and siblings and neighbors, it could be you that is the source of clarity and stability at this time. 
Now, as we navigate towards the end of the month, that is when we are going to have this month's new moon. That new moon is going to take place at the very top of your sky, a part of the sky that has to do with career, with social standing, life purpose. It has to do with success and achievement, interviews, auditions, promotions, all of that is covered here. A sense of recognition can be covered here as well. Now, new moons bring new opportunities. That is key. But here's the thing. This new moon is standing across the sky from Chiron. And so I see this playing out a few different ways. It could just be moving. Chiron right now is moving through the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, having to do with home and family of origin. So it could be to take advantage of a career opportunity. You may have to be out and about and travel uh, or expand your horizons in some way that could take you away from home. The other layer to this is some new opportunity might ask you to be home, to be alone, to spend more time privately, more than you are accustomed to or than you have in a while. The other layer to this understanding as well is that it is possible that there is a new opportunity, but there are questions around whether or not you have the foundation in place, whether or not you have the experience, whether or not you have put in the work and put in the time already to take full advantage of the new opportunity that presents itself to you. And another layer of this as well, well, it has to do with the healer. So whether it is that you are asked to be a healer in the career field, uh, whether it is you attract an experience that allows you to heal more deeply so that you can align with your life purpose, well, these are the types of situations that become possible at this time. Regardless, it is a time of the new and the next, and that means a time of the exciting. There might be new opportunities that present themselves to you. There might be mixed feelings about some of those opportunities. However, with Saturn going direct at this time, you will know the right course of action for you. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus is moving through this very top of your sky, moving here mid-month, and will be here into next month as well. And while Venus is moving through this part of the sky, in the, again, second half of the month and forward, well, here's the thing. Venus is gonna make some very interesting connections to Saturn and to Pluto. These are connections of some tension. And so what this says is there's going to be this sense of something that you want or something you're hoping to achieve and wondering where love is going to fit into that. There could be a sense now that there are developments happening in love that are aligning you with a shared destiny with another person, but it could be personally challenging for you at this time as you are being asked to change. If you're open to meeting someone new, under this energy, you could meet somebody who either is in a position of authority or has achieved something that you admire. Now, as part of that, you are going to have to figure out where it is that it feels right for you to move forward and where it is that maybe you might have to hold back a little bit. For those of you who are just starting to get to know someone, so if you've just started to date someone, uh, this can be some insights into what they believe about their destiny or the direction in which they're heading. And there might be a sense on your part of questioning as to whether or not this fits into the direction in which you desire to go and that you believe that you are going. And for those of you who are in an established bond, what this energy does suggest is that there might be uh, some goals that you have. Maybe there's just work and career related uh, efforts taking place. And that means you have to focus more on what is happening on the career front and less energy goes to the established bond. In some way, there is going to be a desire to bring your partner into your goals or into your career direction. And that really uh, doesn't feel like it comes together as naturally as you would like or hope right away. However, the great thing is, of course, is that with this energy, there is motivation. There's a motivation to cultivate a shared vision together. And that means that change becomes possible and greater love becomes possible as well. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is so much here, but I am going to say, I do love this energy at the very top of your sky because I know how important that is to you. So yes, there may be some sense of needing to figure out the pros and cons with a new opportunity, and yet 
there is excitement at this time. At the same time though, by the time we get to that new moon late in the month, your ruling planet Saturn will be direct. It is going to feel as if some part of you that you didn't know was holding back is finally moving forward. Some part of you finally feels more free and like you are gaining positive forward momentum. It is momentum that you will cherish as you start to increasingly feel more and more like yourself day by day. And that connection to who you are ensures the greatest success. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.